Hello, everybody. Today we have my special friend, Miss Nikki. Say hi, Miss Nikki. Hello. I am so excited to interview you. Are you ready today? Yes, I'm so excited too. Ooh, all right. So, where do you volunteer? I volunteer at the beach house. Ooh, ooh. And how long have you been volunteering in the beach house? I've been volunteering for about 10 years. Wow. I want to say. That's, yeah. I started that's... in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. So, you have lots of experience in the beach house. What has been your mm -hmm. favorite part about volunteering in the beach house? I think my favorite part about volunteering is like since I've been volunteering so long I get to watch the kids kind of grow up and then the ones mm -hmm. that like have grown up and are eligible to like start volunteering like I've seen them like start volunteering so I think that's really cool kind of watching the kids grow up go through mm -hmm. Sunday school and then start volunteering so it's really awesome so much fun and you, yeah it's so much fun seeing people grow up it's the coolest all right you ready for your next question yep all right what is one fun fact about you one fun fact about me is i play beach volleyball at long beach state university and mm -hmm. i've been playing volleyball since i was about eight years old man so lots of volleyball yes so do you like playing, do you like playing like pairs by yourself? What's your favorite version? Um, so definitely doubles because th that's usually, that's how beach volleyball works in college. So okay. um, I like the doubles. I have played six man on the beach before. Mm -hmm. um, that is pretty fun, but definitely doubles. Yeah, nice. Okay, and then if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what food would it be and why? Um, if I only if I could eat only one food, it would have to be bacon. And um, why? Well, because it's bacon. Bacon is so good. Bacon is great. <laughs> have you been eating a lot of bacon at home lately? Actually, no. I have not. We have not made any yet. Mm, so we, I know we have some in our fridge, but we haven't made it yet. That's your next project is making a ton of bacon and seeing how much you can eat yes. in one sitting. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> All right, your final question. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. What is your favorite Bible story and why? Ooh, my favorite Bible story has to be the story of Queen Esther uh -huh. because... Um, I, I like how much courage she showed and how, like, she stood up for what she believed in, even though everybody was against her. Mm -hmm. And, like, it showed that God is with you, like, no matter what. And mm -hmm. I just think she's a really cool Bible character as well. She is, you know, fun fact that I think it's the second month of May. That's what we're learning about is Queen Esther. Oh, so cool. you just segued us into Queen Esther. Awesome. If you want to learn more about Queen Esther, check out our lesson. I will tune in. <laughs> Do you have any final parting words for our friends? Um, I hope you guys are staying safe and spending lots of time with your families, and mm -hmm. I miss you guys a lot. Mm -hmm. We definitely miss you guys. Well, thank you so much, Nikki, for spending time with us and telling us more about you. We hope to see everyone in person soon, but it's been nice seeing you on, on the computer. Thank you, Allie. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. All right.